this is Farm Rover version two. A little bit stronger, a little bit faster. It can also do zero point turns. And each side can, the suspension can do 450 pounds. So that's uh, pretty substantial. It's a four pole DC motor from Permobile. The cool thing also about this is that uh, it has a uh, seat elevator. So I can put like a platform on there and it can lift things up to waist level or not. I did remove the brakes which go in the front of these motors that go by uh, actually all the way over through here and go on a tensioning wire, um, which is ridiculous. And uh, they also suck a lot of power out of the batteries. So they really drain the batteries quickly. So I've removed them. Um, this is just for moving materials. So it shouldn't be necessary um, to have the brakes. I mean, I could have left them on, but uh, I want the battery to last longer. This is a C500 Permobile, and um, just with everything removed. This is actually one of the ones that can have you stand up. But uh, I got it like this uh, for free from a wheelchair store, uh, just in their, what they call the graveyard. In the back here, there is a saber tooth. I've uh, not waterproofed this yet because uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. Basically, this is uh, the motor here, the positive and the negative, and then just whatever arrangement you do, just copy over here. So if you do negative to uh, motor uh, 2B, on motor 1B, you make sure it's negative. For right here, these are my negative cables obviously. So. Both A and for motor 1, A is negative, motor two, uh, 1B positive, and then the same for the other side here. And in the middle, that's the positive and the negative coming from the batteries, which are tied together with a 60 amp fuse. And this is the RC receiver, and the six wires going here, two are negative, two are positive, the red positive, the black negative. And then the yellow and the blue are the signal wires. So you have one signal for forward and backwards. And then one signal for left and right. Uh, and the dip switches are here. That's my settings for the dip switches. So one motor, two motors have batteries. They come through here. They connect over. I put a switch on the negative side just so I could disconnect the batteries when I wanted to. These are deep cell, both of them, which you'll want because normal car batteries will deplete if they go below 90%, which, you know, their alternators when you start a car only run very briefly. So you want deep cycles so they can charge and recharge without damaging the battery quickly. And um, this is a. 50 amp or 60 amp fuse. I believe it says on it. Yeah, it's a mini breaker. I got that from another wheelchair, but basically when I connected them in parallel uh, from the positive here to the negative over there on the other battery, I wanted to have that fuse just in case there was an issue. And that's how a lot of other wheelchairs are set up. So I figured I'd copy that setup from the default settings. And then these are just the positive one positive from this battery and one negative from this battery going into the saber tooth, which really couldn't be any easier. This is the most basic setup. When you're getting parts for free, there's always some issues with them you don't expect. I hooked everything up and then these were spinning. I would make it go forwards and backwards and the motors would turn. I could see them turning here where I removed the brakes, but uh, it just kept spinning and spinning. So I took these off and underneath the guy had removed a little piece of metal um, in the motor so that it wasn't attached to the wheel. So it just spin unattached and he had put the bolts back in. So I don't realize why you would do that. Maybe he just needed that part for a similar uh, power chair. But uh, because it was a power chair store, so they probably were scavenging parts off this. I mean, a lot of the electronics are missing, almost everything, and the plastic covers over the batteries and the 
um, motors. So that's probably what happened. So I had to go machine them out of screws and uh, make them perfectly fit in there over the motors and then kind of hammer them on and put the screws back in place. So now they should be good. But that's what you expect when you get things for free. But they're fully functional. They're powerful four pole motors from Permobile. So you can't really complain. This last bit here is just a simple on off switch. Um, and it just connects between the negative of the battery and the negative going into the saber tooth. That way you can cut off the controller and or not just when you store it, just not leave it endlessly powered on and drain the battery. A couple things not to do. I just had a bunch of 12 gauge uh, solid core wire. You're gonna want for, for mobile applications to use stranded. So that's why you see these wires kind of standing up on their own like this. Like you can't do that with a uh, stranded wire. I mean, that's just there super temporary just for this video as I just got working like five minutes ago.